Every day. Every day I wake up and say, Mom, Dad, are we we really have this on our schedule this week? Are we really, are we really going to Orlando for for an award show and then and then going to New York for the Heisman ceremony? Is this is this real life? Uh, the people that the people that have been in my life to allow this to happen, all 105 of those guys and all the coaches back home, and just what a what a great thing this is for me to be the person that represents what all we've done as a team this year. Have you ever thought about how your college career would have been different if you went to Texas and they recruited you actually as a safety, not even a quarterback? I mean, that's kind of something I thought about probably probably more when I was getting recruited uh, than I do now. I don't really uh, – there's there's no second thoughts on my chance to, or my choice to come to Texas A&M. I feel like it's been one of the greatest choices I've ever made in my life. And, and if uh, if Texas – if that – door would have been open, then it would have just been another option for me to, to see which way which way I would have gone. Did that kind of slap in the face when they wanted you to play safety instead uh, of quarterback? Not at all. There was a couple other schools that, that wanted me to do that, and to be honest, I was just I was just eager to play. I just wanted to play at a Division One school. I just wanted to be a part of uh, any program that, that wanted me. So I weighed all my options the same, and, and I'm very glad to be at Texas A&M. Johnny, have you ever thought about the impact this award would have on your life if you're able to win it being the first freshman to win the Heisman? I think I'd be more excited about the impact it would have have on the school and how it would be the second Heisman Trophy winner to bring it back to, to Texas A&M. Uh, that's what I thought about more than anything is just the impact it would have on Texas A&M and really try to make 12th man, Aggie land, and just, just Aggies everywhere proud. Can you even appreciate this moment, all these other award ceremonies being in New York here? Can you appreciate this? For sure. I, I, I'm very humbled and very, very blessed to, to be here uh, this whole weekend. It's been uh, a dream come true to even be a part of this, so I'm very, very happy. The well, trophy well, candidate has a defining moment. Do you think that Alabama game was your defining moment of the season? I think it was a. I think that has to be uh, the, the biggest moment individually for the season. But the thing about that game is such a such a team effort, and Coach Sullivan always talks about team and playing complete. And then you look at the end of the game with seven minutes left, get a forced fumble, drive down the field with with two great catches by receivers to get in the end zone, and then and then a defensive stand, and then we draw them off sides with. 30 seconds left to seal the game. Uh, you can't. You look back at that and, and being uh, and being a member of that team. It's a great feeling. Some people compare you to Drew Brees. How much of an honor is it to be compared to a Super Bowl winning MVP? Well, Drew Brees is one of my favorite quarterbacks in the entire NFL. So, uh, yeah, uh, that would be awesome. Uh, just, right, to, folks, just to be mentioned in the same sentence is awesome. What a, what a great quarterback a he is and the Super Bowl winning quarterback at that. It's, it's unbelievable. And the things I do and the words I say and the way I conduct myself, my business on and off the field, I try to just you know, relate to kids, and hopefully they can relate to me, and when they see me, it inspires them to be something great, and, um, you know, just, for me, my, my whole thing is to giving kids hopes, giving kids hope that they can have dreams and that those dreams can come true. Manta, you're very resilient. You lose your girlfriend and as well as your grandmother within the span of 24 hours. I'm just curious, what made you wanting to keep on playing the game? Because some kids could have taken some time off from that. Oh, you know, my faith, you know, I, I, I drew strength from my faith, um, you know, from Heavenly Father, and the same thing that everybody should draw strength from, because um, in times like that, you know, uh, you find out what life is truly about, and, you know, there's this game of football that we all love, and then there's life, and that's, that's, that's what this whole thing is about, you know, that's why I'm here. How much of the support from the Notre Dame community help you? Uh, it's, it's been amazing, um, you know, and that's, 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 <laughs> You know, when I when I decided to come to Notre Dame four years ago, and you know, I didn't, I, I said before I didn't know why, um, but the Lord knew why, and he, that was his way of showing me this is why I sent you here. You do so many award ceremonies. Uh, you still have to prepare for a national championship game. Can you even appreciate this moment being in New York for being a Heisman finalist? Oh yeah, you know, for me to to be here, you know, I was here on Tuesday, um, and I came back obviously today um, to be part of the whole uh, Heisman. Um, experience and you know, that's been great. You know, we, I was able to walk around a little bit and see what New York is all about, and um, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be great. It's going to be fun.